Having plump lips may just be one of the biggest trends in recent years, and these days it doesn't matter if you're born with them or not. It's possible to go from no lips to Angelina Jolie pretty damn quickly and easily with fillers. Stars like Angelina, Scarlett Johansson, Julia Roberts, and even Madeline Pesch from Riverdale all have naturally full lips, or so it seems. But you'd be surprised that plenty of stars known for their gorgeous pouts didn't always look that way. Some of these celebs admit that they've gotten fillers while others don't, but in some cases it's just so painfully obvious I don't think you could deny it. Big lips have always been considered sexy, but I don't think they've ever been as popular as they are now. The first celebrity with enhanced lips that I remember noticing was Real Housewives star Lisa Rinna, who I love, and I still think she's the OG. Do you think Kylie Jenner got lip injections? You do. Now it seems like everywhere you look, especially on Instagram, enhanced lips are more common than not. You may even feel like the odd one out for not having them. A lot of the times they look great as long as you don't go way overboard, and I'm sure they've given some added confidence to many who didn't have this option before. So if plump lips make you happy, then go for it. We're just gonna go over some famous ladies' lips and see what you guys think. What's going on guys? I'm Kara, and today we're doing something a little different here on Famous Entertainment. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you can always be up to date. Today we'll be discussing which celebrities may or may not have had lip fillers. We'll look at some reality TV stars, actresses, singers, influencers and more. And let me tell you, some of these may surprise you. It's kind of hard to make a list including everyone since there's a ton, so we're gonna mention some of the most popular ones. If you guys like this idea and want more lists, like maybe the best Hollywood nose jobs or boob jobs, let me know in the comments below. Cause we all know everyone is curious, don't lie. For now, let's get into this video. Just before we get into our list, let's get the lowdown on the cosmetic procedures you can get to plump your lips up. These days, the most common method of lip enhancement is via an injectable dermal filler, usually a hyaluronic acid filler. Collagen injections, fat injections, or even implants are other methods used to plump lips, but they aren't considered safe and aren't as popular, so most people don't choose these. There are different hyaluronic acid fillers on the market like Juvederm, Restylane, and more. They all work to add shape, structure, and volume to the lips. It's a relatively quick and easy process to have done with little side effects, but I've heard that the actual injection is a little bit painful and there may be some slight bruising. The results usually fade around six months and you need to keep getting injections in order to keep the volume of your lips, so it can be a continuous process. But enough about that, I think you get the idea. So let's get into our list now. Starting with an MTV star we all know and love, Snooki or Nicole from Jersey Shore. Snooki has definitely had quite the glow up since her early years on Jersey Shore. And now, if you'd believe it, she's a gorgeous wife and mama of three. Snooki definitely came a long way and found her happy ending. Nervous, but I just, I don't wanna look like a duck. Part of her makeover included her new plump lips but she was honest about it. Snooki shared her lip plumping experience on Insta and posted a photo confessing. First session of lip plumps and it's just fabulous. I've always hated my thin lips and never thought I had the balls to get needles in my lip to perfect them, but I did. And she continued to do them after that because clearly they made her more confident, so good for her. And I don't think Snooki is the only one out of her J Shore castmates that gets their lips filled either. Next up is Lindsay Lohan, one of the biggest teen stars of my generation who I was obsessed with. I mean, who did didn't love Mean Girls Lindsay. It's clear that a lot has changed since Lindsay's teen star days and she had her fair share of struggles and drama. Some might say she went a little bit off the deep end, but right now we're just looking at her lips. Lindsay already had great lips before, but you can tell the girl likes her fillers. Sometimes her lips have looked a little bit too inflated, but when she leaves them to settle a bit, they look just fine. One thing I have to say though is that Lindsay has the prettiest collection of mug shots ever. You can even see the lips in these pics. This next celeb I never knew had lip injections until recently. Growing up, I remember Christina Aguilera always had great lips, so I don't think she needed to touch them. I guess she always had a smaller top lip and fuller bottom lip, but I swear naturally that's how most lips look. Although Christina has always denied going under the knife, most would agree that she's at least had fillers in her top lip because it's changed shape recently. Fans have definitely called her out on her photos about her extra plump lips, so it's safe to say that she definitely does get them filled, whether she admits it or not. Let's just hope she doesn't go overboard. So this actress seems to have fallen off the map slightly, but maybe it was just because she was so big at the height of her career. One thing I noticed about Megan Fox over the years is that her looks really changed. She was considered the hottest woman around and obviously she was always gorgeous. I definitely don't think that she needed
needed to change anything with her face. The star still got plastic surgery though and also got bigger lips. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what work she had done when you compare photos, but the differences are there. You can also tell that she's a fan of the lip fillers. Now on to Bella Thorne. If there's one thing we can agree on about this ex-Disney star, Bella doesn't care what people think. Whether she's directing an adult film, growing her body hair, or having open relationships with men and women at the same time, she's pretty out there about it all. So it's no surprise that even being so young in her early 20s that she's had work done, including lip fillers. You can see how much her lips have changed when you compare with early photos of the star. Personally, I think Bella looks great with fuller lips and it seems like she's been getting them for a while now so everyone's used to this look. Sours and blues, charcoal dark as night, peek around the corner is one wrong step and he will bite. And who better to mention after Bella than her ex-girlfriend Tana Mojo. I don't think Tana used to have super thin lips or anything, but you can definitely tell she fills them because of how big they are now compared to the size that they used to be. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that Tana uses fillers and it's not like it's a secret. She's posted it in vlogs. It's bigger. It's, it's like giving birth. It really is. God, oh, really? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Moving on to one of my fave ladies, Ariana Grande, who never seems to admit to having any work done. And believe me, there are still a ton of fans who believe that Ari was just born that way. I do think she already looked perfect, but she definitely had some cosmetic enhancements, including her lips. Recently, Ariana's lips have looked a lot fuller than they used to. The fillers look like they've been done tastefully and don't look super drastic, but when you compare pics of then and now, you can see a definite change. I still think Ariana's flawless though, fillers or not. Another young star who is drop dead gorgeous but also definitely fills her lips is Dove Cameron. This actress got her start on Disney and as we know was always super cute. But when we look at older pics of Dove from back in the day, you can see that her looks actually changed a lot. Although there's reason to believe that Dove got other cosmetic work done aside from simply filling her lips, I think that her growing lips are one of the more noticeable changes to her face. They definitely keep getting bigger over the years. Whatever the girl is doing, it seems to me like every day she looks more and more like a doll. And just because because we can't not mention them, let's talk about the Kardashian-Jenner sisters. I'm not exactly sure if they all get lip fillers, but I think most of them do, and we all know which sister is most infamous for them. Starting with Kim, although it looks like she had nice natural lips to begin with, from the shape and fullness of her lips now, it looks like she does get them enhanced slightly. It's most noticeable when you look at her top lip. So there's one sister. I personally love Chloe, but I definitely don't think her lips are all natural either. Comparing before and after photos, you can tell that her lips are a lot plumper than they used to be. Fans obviously noticed, but at the time, Chloe blamed it on pregnancy, saying, Some women get pregnancy lips. I was one of them, so my lips look crazy and massive. Trust me, I know, and I hated it. Maybe there is some truth to that, but Chloe's lips definitely have that look of getting fillers. She's had to have had at least some. Kendall's definitely one of the sisters that stays out of the tabloids the most, and it also seems like she's less targeted about her appearance. She's always been a natural beauty, but if you look closely, you'll notice that she has had some enhancements to her face and clearly gets her lips filled. When she was younger, her lips were nowhere near as full as they are now, so to me, it's pretty obvious. Finally, the youngest sister and the Kardashian-Jenner who's most famous for lip fillers is Kylie. Although she denied it for as long as she could, Kylie's lip fillers were so obvious she had to admit it. Nobody was buying her excuse about lip liner. You could tell how much bigger they were getting. Kylie has said she was always insecure about her thin lips growing up, so getting them filled was something that made her more confident. I think that's a good enough reason to do whatever you want with your face anyways. Although at one point Kylie let her lips go natural again, either by not filling them or getting them dissolved a bit, she soon reverted back to injections. At least these days, Kylie's open about it with her fans. So obviously, these ladies aren't the only ones in Hollywood to have lip fillers. It would just take forever to name them all, and I'm sure there are also some that we don't know about. But some other honorable mentions include the iconic Britney Spears, who probably just had hers filled a little bit, teen mom and adult film star Farrah Abraham, because who could forget that time she got a bad reaction to a lip implant, Heidi Pratt and Stephanie Pratt from The Hills, Trisha Paytas, who loves her lip injections. And there right there, you saw her sort of massaging the injections in. So once she injects the Juvederm, she massages it in the lips, I guess is the best way I can explain it since I'm not a professional. And I can, you can't feel it moving because you can't feel anything, but she's moving it around to make it nice and even and not lumpy. 
and actress Nicole Kidman. Honestly, she's just so classy. She's definitely my one day goals. Let me know any big names that I might have missed down in the comments. Like I said, there are way too many celebs to count. These days, lip fillers are so casual, it doesn't even seem like a big deal at all. We have before and after videos on most of these stars here on Famous Entertainment 2, so be sure to check those out if you want their full transformation stories. I also want to know what you guys think about this list. Do you agree or disagree? Who has the best celebrity lip fillers? And is there anyone on the list who you thought was all natural? Make sure you're subscribed and let me know if you'd like to see more of these lists and which ones. And follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!